Hello my viewer, welcome back to Kate's Crochet and today I'm back with another stitch here it is it is called Jacob's Ladder so you can see it has some loops on it and so we are doing this today now to do this stitch you need different colors of yarn from two colors that's enough if you want to use as many colors as you want then you are good to do this so now i've done this with four colors so you can see it has four it has three loops on it and so this is what we are doing just now so in this stitch i'm using also uh, a set of other four colors so these are the colors that we shall be using in this uh, stitch so now let's start i'm starting with a gray yarn and to do this i need a crochet hook and i'm using this hook 3.5 and all of all of these yarns are robin small and i'm using them as two strands so now to start this you need to make a chain which is a multiple of five plus two so you can do any multiple of five plus a chain of two so in this i'll be doing 25 stitches 25 chains plus 2 which is 27 so now let's start we make a slip knot and we start chaining 27 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight nine ten here is my chain of 27 so now we want to start with our first row after the chain now we want to skip the first four chains one two three four and on the fifth we make a double crochet In the next we do a double crochet continue doing double crochets in this row to the end so now I have my first row done of double crochets so we continue with the next row so now we chain one and turn our work and in this next zero we are going to do single crochets to the uh, second last stitch so now let's do single crochets do your single crochets up to the end of this row this will be the foundation um, of the base of this stitch so continue doing single crochets to the end i'm on my second last stitch so on my last stitch which is a chain i'm going to do a single on top of that and now i have two loops and just before I finish the stitch, I'm going to introduce a new color. So I'm introducing this color. I don't want to cut my yarn, so I just introduce it like 
hooping, uh, looping heat on the hook come through that uh, two stitches and chain three so as you can see I've not cut the previous yarn so now we turn so now here we want to divide our work into five parts into one two three four and five so that we make these uh, loops so now in every part we shall be having five stitches that is why i talked about uh, a multiple of five so now we are going to stitch five stitches here of double crochets and now on the fifth on the fifth uh, fifth stitch that is where we are going to do our first loop so this first chain counts as our first double crochet in the next we do a double crochet that is two three four and five so there are our five double crochets yes so now here we make a chain of 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now on top of this chain on top of it here there are two loops one on this side and another one on this side here and here so we are going to slip stitch through the two of them like this we do a slip stitch like that and now a loop is formed so we continue in the next five stitches we work five double crochets one two three four and lastly five make sure you confirm every time one two three four and five again we make a chain of ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten make a slip stitch on top of that last double crochet in these two loops slip stitch there A loop is formed we continue repeating this same process one two three four and the last one five we want to create another loop chain ten One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slip stitch on top here. It's very clear. The stitch is very visible. Slip stitch there. Do another five double crochet. One, two, three four and five so now we want to make our last loop one two three four five six seven eight nine ten slip stitch on top of this double crochet slip stitch there our loops are 
done and now we want to crochet the rest of this work five double crochets four and the last one five and that row goes like that so now we want to do uh, the next row using the same yarn we chain one we turn our work and now on this side we are working single crochets throughout this row so do five single crochets I've reached the point where we have our loop don't be bothered about the loop just push it away from your work and continue with the next stitch and you do a single crochet so now your uh, your loop is has gone on the other side of your work continue doing single crochets and when you get to the loop just push it away from your work now I'm there I push it away and single crochet in the next stitch and continue this to the end of the row so one uh, one a row to be complete or one color of yarn to complete a section of that we are doing two uh, rows the first row of double crochets which forms the loops and the second row of single crochets that completes the stitch so now I'm on my last stitch on top of this chain 3 and now before I complete that uh, row I want to introduce another color this is the wrong side here is the right side the one with the loops so now at the end here I want to introduce another color and I'm introducing white so again without cutting yarn I'm going to introduce my white color which finishes that stitch and I make a chain of three turn my work And I'm going to repeat the same process that I did with the yellow color. I'm going to work five double crochets. This counts as one, two, three, four, and five. So now at this point it's where I'm going to make the loop like this one so I chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 on top of this chain 3 I slip stitch on the two loops I continue doing five double crochets that is one two three four and five and on that fifth one I make a loop one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I slip stitch on top of the chain three. I slip stitch there. Continue with five double crochets. One. Two, three, four, and five. I make a loop. So now we have two loops of the white yarn. Continue doing this and form these two other loops. On the last stitches, we work double crochets to the end. And I meet you on this other end. So I'm nearing to the end of this row. And I do the last stitch. So now I want to do the second row of this color, which is single crochets. So now I chain one and turn my work and do single crochets. Again, when we, uh, we come to this loop, we push it away from our work and continue doing single crochets. So in this row, we want to do single crochets to the end don't mind about the the loops just push them away from this side and do your single crochets to the end if you are new here please subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and just down below this video, there is a section that is written comment. So comment down below on that section. If you are an old member coming back, I say a big thank you. Thank you so much for coming back. So now this is my last stitch. I do single crochet and just before I finish that, now I introduce my fourth color, which is color orange. So here is my color. So I introduce it here. I grab that yarn with my hook and go through those two loops and finish it with a chain one. So now in the next row, we shall be now doing the loops. I've already chained one, another two chain. This serves as our first double crochet. So we crochet, <coughs> sorry. We crochet four more double crochets until we get here. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So now when we get here, we want to form our loop. We chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Get to the base of the chain, which is here, or on top of this double crochet. Slip stitch on those two loops. Make a slip stitch there. Continue doing five double crochets. One, two, three, four, 
and five the last one again chain 10 to make uh, the loop we chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 slip stitch on top of this double crochet and now we continue the same process to the end continue making these loops to the end of this row and i meet you on the last stitch we turn to the next row so now i've finished this row and i chain one i turn my work to finish this row with single crochets so single crochet all through to the end of this row when you get to the loop just push it back and continue doing your single crochets we continue doing our single crochets remember to push back uh, the chain loop whenever you get to the loop so now you can continue with different colors or uh, just the same colors you just cut from the previous rows introduce to the next rows you can work this with two colors once you finish one row with one color you cut that and introduce it in the next rows so now we have done our last single crochet and now let's look at it here are our loops So now we want to join them like this one. So now what we do, you can use your bare hands or you use your hook. For me, I prefer using my hook because it grabs it very well. So now go to the first hook of your second row. Grab the one which is next and bring it down. To go through the first one like that your hook is still on the second one so again grab the next and it comes through the second one if you have other rows you continue with the same process can we repeat this again yes of course you come to these next loops you go through the first loop with your hook or your hands grab the next let the second one come through the first one like that go to the third grab it through the second one if you continue doing that so you do this until all your loop chains are, are done. So you can see, <coughs> sorry, this color, the loop of this color is coming to the one which is on top of it. And now this color coming to the one which is on top of it so it continues like that we do this last one like that and now 
when you are done uh, doing this process, we now want to secure the last hook. We don't want to leave it like this because definitely it is going to come out as you can see this one. So if you leave them like this, they want to come out very easily. So now what we do in the last stitch that we did, remember we were finishing one row with two stitches, double crochets and single crochets. You can see. So now we want to do double crochets again in this with the same yarn or you can use another color but i would i would like to use this same color so chain three and turn so now work double crochets sorry we are working single crochets sorry we are working single crochet so we chain one and turn our work so now we work single crochets continue working single crochets when you reach those loops just ignore them continue doing your single crochets To the end and now I meet you at the end I show you what next so now I've come to the end of this row and now I chain one and turn my work I also do single crochet on this side one two three four and five this means I've reached where this other loop is so now what I want to do is attach this loop to this chain so I go through like <coughs> sorry <coughs> like a normal single crochet and I take that loop I go through that loop and take yarn and now I finish my single crochet and that loop is attached on top of this chain so again i do five single crochets one two three four and five i come here i do the same i go through this next stitch No, I should have taken it on the fifth chain. So I took it there. I take it from there. Continue one, two, three, four. And on the fifth, I take the loop. Make sure you are taking it on the fifth stitch. One two three four and on the fifth i take the as you can see this is already undone so if you leave it like that it is going to undo itself so make sure you do your finishing to make the loops secure and i'm done uh, securing my loops so i just finish this last row and there is my finished ladder stitch so you can see it the loops and now this stitch can do very well on a scarf on a neck warmer i think 
it goes with so many things very many things you can do this a sweater such that these loops appear on the two sides of the front you can do this so you can just try this and work it on a scarf and tell me how it goes so thank you for watching this to the end give this video a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you have not subscribed thank you and goodbye for now.